Well, good morning, everyone. Hope you are having a blessed Tuesday. This has been a crazy day over here at my house. And it's a long story, but uh, Albert allowed the neighbors to uh, keep the electricity on under his name as long as they paid the bill. Well, they've gotten two months behind and hasn't paid since December. So he told him that uh, he's having it turned off tomorrow and uh, because it's hurting his credit. And now his wife or girlfriend or whatever she is keeps coming out the door yelling shit and tell Albert he's an asshole. It's like, geez, you know, you try to be nice to people and see how they are. Anyway, let's get these readings underway. Okay, boy, you have the Ten of Swords. Okay, now to the extreme, this card can mean a pain that feels like a violent death, a, a mental death, ruination, mental anguish, guilt that cannot be reconciled, trouble and misfortune. Someone's going to betray you stab you in the back and this will be the end of something to come now the element here is the air astrological association is mercury and virgo and numerological number is 10. the tree of life position is malchus the kingdom the sphere of experience now on a, a milder note though Okay, while this card does mean ruin, and it sounds frightening, it does not mean death or destruction. It is also worth bearing in mind that this event, although sudden, has a history. It is not an act of God like the lightning strike, um, but a natural outcome of a accumulation of events that leads to inevitable change this ending clears the way though for new possibilities and you may find the finality of it releases you from frustration and stress in your personal life bonds of friendship may break and that's probably because of betrayal here there may be no turning back this, unfortunately, is unavoidable. But with hindsight, you may see that certain people in a group were causing discord and stress. In love relationship, the card signifies a dramatic ending. However, the Ten of Swords sometimes applies to a group of people rather than individuals. In work, this may manifest as the closure of a department accompanied by job loss or a failing business. On a more positive note, this is the end of an era. Soon the strife and upset will be over. Health issues such as low energy and exhaustion will now improve. All right, and now let's see what this card says. You have protecting treasure. You are always protected and divinely directed. Although this is a time of great risk, know that at a fundamental level, you are able to move forward safely and securely. The proverbial nest egg is safe and sound, no matter the fluctuations in the world. Guardian angels and other guides are whispering to you, making you aware of their protective presence. 
Your loyalty is an important theme now. Nurture that which you hold dear. This is a good time to strengthen bonds of friendship and ensure their integrity. If you feel tested right now, know that a true and loyal heart always achieves its aim. Take refuge under an angel's wing. You are not alone and have no need to fear. Embrace your courage. All right, so that's good news. It's just reassuring you that, uh, okay, something is going to happen but you'll come out of it. It needs to happen. It's for the best. It won't be a nice situation while it's going on, but in the long run, it's what's for the best. So take comfort in knowing that. All right. And I hope you know that uh, this might help out some of you all that might be going through this right now. Well, I always hope you can relate, but... Uh, in this situation especially, I hope you can uh, benefit by uh, this knowledge. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Peace. Believe because the spirits are out there. And until tomorrow, have a blessed Tuesday. Bye-bye.